Hey guys, tip number 10 on how to be a better junior programmer. Today's tip is about the second system effect and why your second attempt at solving a problem is often worse than your first attempt. In the 1970s, computer scientist Frederick Brooks identified a pattern in software projects. When developers replace a successful system with a new version, the second system is often bloated, over-engineered, and worse than the first. Why? Well, because developers remember all the limitations of the first system and they try to fix everything at once in the second system. The first system was constrained by time, by budget, by understanding. So developers had to be really disciplined and focus on the essentials. But when building the second system, they feel like they know better. They add every feature they wish they had included the first time. They want to implement elaborate abstractions as a just-in-case, and they tend to overcomplicate things in an attempt to avoid past mistakes. Now, as a junior developer, it's super easy to fall into this trap. You build a feature, it kind of sort of works, but it feels clunky, so you refactor it. You suddenly have this 50-line function that comes replaced with this 300-line framework with and of configuration files, abstract classes, factories and builders, is this complexity that nobody asked for. You've essentially created a second system effect, right? The problem isn't improvement, it's actually overreaction. You swing too far in the opposite direction, adding complexity to solve problems that might never occur. So what's the solution? Well, when refactoring and rebuilding, resist the urge to make the second version infinitely flexible. Make it appropriately flexible for the use cases you've encountered. Learn from the first system, but don't try to solve every hypothetical future problem in a second. The best second systems are the ones that are focused on improvements, not architectural revolutions. And just like that, you're a better developer. I'm posting every weekday. See you tomorrow.